Hello and welcome to another wastewater tutor video. Today we'll be talking about detention time. In our example today that we're going to actually walk through, a rectangular sedimentation tank is 84 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 14, oops, I'm sorry, and 15 feet deep, including three feet of freeboard. Flow into this tank is 2.2 million gallons per day Calculate detention time. And here are your possible answers. Now, in these questions on the exam, they, you might have a more precise answer, but you will always try to choose the answer that is closest to the correct answer that you have on your sheet. So as you can see here, I've written out the problem on this little whiteboard, so please excuse my bad handwriting. So the first thing you want to remember is that detention time is a two-part problem. It's calculated as volume. over flow. And flow is always a measure of volume times um, over time. So there's always a time element when you're talking about flow. So the first thing you, that you want to do is draw a picture. That always helps. I don't care what grade you're taking, one or your grade five, a picture always helps. Again, please excuse my drawing skills as well because they are not up to par and this is not going to be according to scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the dimensions on it. So it's 84 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 15 feet deep. That includes three feet of freeboard. We're going to stop for a second here and just explain what that means. On this image, you can see that depth is right here. Now, for example, in our math question today, we were working on a depth of 15 feet. And if you're working on 15 feet, that includes the top, all the way from the top of the tank to the bottom of the tank. However, when you include freeboard, the definition for freeboard is the distance between the water line to the top of the vessel. So in this case, it's a tank. And in this example, we had a freeboard of three feet. Now three feet means that from the top of that vessel down three feet of freeboard is where the top of that operating depth of that tank is. So that's where the water line is going to be. So actually, 15 feet minus 3 feet of freeboard is equal to the 12 feet of operating depth of the tank. I hope that helps. Okay, back to the problem. So now let's go and calculate the volume. So in this case, we're going to calculate volume as an expression of gallons because we have gallons in our in our expression of flow so let's go and use gallons as our dimension for volume I am a big stickler for units of measure so 84 feet times 30 feet times now it should be it would be 15 feet if we didn't have 15 feet including the three feet of freeboard so we're going to minus that three feet from 15 you're going to have 12 feet of operating 
water depth. So 12 feet. Then we're going to times, we're going to convert that into gallons. So we're not going to use feet. We need to use the conversion for gallons. That would be our 7.48 equivalency. So you're going to go and cancel out your cubic feet. So there's cubic feet right there, and there's cubic feet there, and you're left with gallons. What is my number for gallons? 226,195.2 gallons. Now you're going to go and determine your flow. Now you're already given your flow in as 2.2 million gallons per day. But the answer is looking for hours. So on top of that, we're already expressing our volume in gallons. So let's bring it from million gallons to gallons, and we're gonna convert days into hours. I just like to write that in the beginning so I know what my end goal is. So 2.2 million gallons per day. Anytime there's a per, that means that it happens over the line or on one side of the dividing line and the thing after per is on the other side of that little dividing line. So there's a million gallons per mg. So that gets rid of my million gallons. And that just leaves me with gallons. But we still have days, so we need to translate day into hours. And like we all know, there's 24 hours in a day. Never enough. We'll cancel that out, and all we're left will be gallons per hour, which will equal to 91,666.7 hour. Oh, sorry, gallons per day. Oh, gosh darn it. Sorry, gallons per hour. See, gotta keep your eye on the prize. Then all you do is divide this number by this number. Two hundred twenty-six. Oops. Two hundred twenty-six thousand one hundred. Make that a little neater. Two hundred twenty-six thousand one hundred ninety-five point two gallons. All divided by. 91,666.7 gallons per hour. When you cancel these two guys out, you're left with hours, which equals 2.47 hours. And when you're going to look through your multiple choice possible answers, You'll see that there's some close ones, but the closest answer to yours would be 2.5 hours. And so your answer is 2.5 hours, D. Here's another example problem. A rectangular sedimentation tank is 60 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 14 feet deep, including three feet of freeboard. Flow into the tank is 1.8 million gallons per day. Calculate detention time. And here are your possible answers. Please note that the answers are in hours, so try to find in your calculations a way to do, calculate detention time in hours. 
in this example, a 48 foot diameter clarifier is 16 feet deep, including three feet of freeboard, and receives a flow of 3.0 million gallons per day. Calculate the tension time. Here are your possible answers. So again, when you're looking at the possible answers, you're looking at what is the unit of measure that they're looking for. So in this question, detention time is expressed in hours. Another thing to note is that the clarifier mentions diameter. That means that you have a circular tank. So please refer to your equivalency sheets for the formula for calculating area of a circle and then use the 16 feet to calculate your volume of that tank. In this example, a 36-acre wastewater treatment pan, pond receives a flow of 0.5 mgd. If the pond is operated at a depth of 4 feet, what is the detention time of this pond? And here are your possible answers. In this example, because we're working with ponds, a lot of times that they, their area is expressed in acres. Acres equals area. When they're talking about the operating depth of four feet, that's the depth of the pond. And that will, you'll use acre and feet in order to calculate the volume of that pond or your three dimensions. Also note that the answers are expressed in days. So you'll be looking to express your detention time in days. And that's it for the wastewater tutor. Thank you for watching the video. Hope that helps. And the answers will be listed in my notes. Thank you.